Welcome back to HemiJoyz.net. I'm going to show you today an app called My Remote. For quite a long while I used to use, I think it was called Gmote. Um, you run a server on your computer, you run the app on your phone and you select what file you want to play and it plays the video file on your computer. I'm fairly sure I reviewed it, it was one of the, one of the sort of first reviews I did I think on HemiJoyz. Um, but with Gingerbread it wasn't working, it never looked all that nice to be honest either, the, the developer I don't think he touched it since, I know since I started using it, which was a shame because you know a bit of jazzing up and adding a few features, it was it was a really good app. Anyway, so I came across this as an alternative. Now I'm not a big fan of Windows Media Center to be honest, um, but this using it in conjunction with this app seems to, seems to achieve what I would want it to. Um, first of all, you have to install something on your computer, which is from the web page that we have here, and you, you can get the URL from the app description in the marketplace. So just type it straight in, but it's sites.google.com slash site slash my remote Android slash. You download, you're in the file, you're in the installer, uh, and it's installed it on your computer. Now, then we, uh, of course, install the app itself. Um, and I'm still kind of just been having a filler with it, playing some video files, some movies, and some TV shows. That's the start button. I believe no, it's not yet. Okay, here we go. So in we go. Um, and as you can see, as I tap button on the app itself, it controls on the uh, on the screen and very responsive as well. I have already entered the IP address into the phone that the computer's on, of course. And that was pretty much what I needed to do. Um, so if I go into my video library, my TV shows, uh, Entourage, look. Brilliant TV show. Just randomly. Simple as that. The volume down button. Hold it down, it jumps down by 20. Um, you can turn the device into effectively a, a mouse uh, touchpad for the computer. You can go into. Uh, now, someone needs to tell me, I've never done this with. Con uh, Alt tab. How do I set that up on my computer to do that? <laughs> Someone tell me in the comments. But that's how you know you can control to that extent. Uh, the camera, I presume, takes a screenshot. I haven't really tried to be honest. There's a record button on the side. Here. So there's actually a lot of stuff that I've not really got into in great detail. Um, media library, so I can go to my music. No, I'll cancel that. All right, I've got a back arrow here. I presume it's going to bring me back. Um, in theory, I think you can watch TV. Oh, no tuner available, it's telling me, so fair enough, I need to have a tuner. Um, I can go back to my list, can I? Oh, that's, so this is the TV, internet TV. How do I control? I think it might be trying to... It might be trying to get all the information. There we go. All right. So I've got, um, see I've never, like I say, I'm not a big media centre user to be honest. Um, so I'm not, I don't, <laughs> I don't know my way around that. I can just tell you about the app. And like I say, all I was really after, <laughs> was that Johnny in a computer game? If you've never watched Entourage before, brilliant TV show. How do I come out of that? Which basically sort of the, the bloke's version of Sex in the City. Oh, why is it not? Why is it not responding now? Maybe it's because. See now that's doing the story. It's coming back in. I'm not sure if the OK or the Windows one actually starts up because I helped it in there. I saw the start menu jumped up. Anyway, so now I'm back in control. I can go to my movies. 
again, I think it's just getting a bit of is it getting a bit of information on? I oh, know we we're doing this top scroll bar come down. There we go. We can we can watch Goldfinger. So for me, this is this is actually a pretty perfect app for my phone because I love to just lay in my bed, especially late at night, sort of thing. If I'm if I'm going to sleep, um, and just put a TV show. So if I can if I can do that just by opening an app on my phone and browsing through on the computer. Perfect. Now, one question would be, how do I can I fast forward and such? Apparently not. So I do. I mean, I, I should have probably done a bit more, uh, a bit more playing. But um, I just thought I would let you guys know. Now, so I press that to close it. And close it again. I'm closing all sorts of stuff on my desktop. <laughs> you guys can't see, but just close some over on another screen. Yeah, it's closing more stuff down. So, oh dear, I don't know if I want to dare try, but if I keep going, can I? No, I did wonder. Oh, I was asking how I fast forward and thing. I'm stupid, me. Look, it's at the bottom. Look, silly me. Um, yeah, what would, what would have been quite useful? Oh, there it is. Right, so I've got my start menu up. I don't know if you can see that in the corner, probably not. Oh. And there we go, so I have. Am I still controlling it? Ah. I have a bit of an issue on my computer that it doesn't shut everything down properly. Um, let's cancel that. I was going to say, it'd be quite good if I could shut my computer down whilst still laying in bed sort of thing, but uh, until, I f until I fix my issues with the shutdown, not not being able to close things automatically, I apparently can't. Anyway, so, my remote, Let's see if I can get you the uh, QR code, is actually, um, get the centre there, actually a very useful app for controlling Windows Media Centre, from your Android device. My name's Andy, Hemajoys.net.